thing I asked Lady, what's the sweetest thing you have? And she told me this. And then she gave it to me and I ate and I was like, Ugh. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. So you guys, I am currently in a bathroom and this is my new background for a very long time, you guys. So hopefully you get used to it. It's a lot more organized than Mike's old bathroom, or not old bathroom, his old room with his bookshelf that you guys had to see that clutter mess of everything. I'm in Florida, if you could not tell you guys from my brownness, from the sunshine and everything, I'm in Florida and I'm enjoying everything. I'm, it's like, oh, it's so beautiful. So amazing. Since I like talking about food and I feel like food is one of the main things that I love talking about, I decided to make another video about German food, you guys. Granted, not all of the foods I'm listing are German, but hopefully when I speak about them, you'll understand why I'm relating it to Germany. I am very picky with my food. Mike has said this before. My family knows this. I don't eat that many things. I try my best, you guys, to give everything a chance, but I, I'm just very picky. My taste buds, they have matured, <laughs> and they have, I don't know, they've just had a bigger palette. They have a bigger palette now or a more wider option of taste buds, I suppose. I have changed so much in regards to foods. If you would have told me a few years ago the things that I'd be eating, I would never have believed you guys. So this video is going to be titled <laughs> This video is going to be titled German Foods I Never Thought I Would Like. Hopefully that's the title. If it's not then you guys can say Haley it's not the right title. The first food is going to be beer, which isn't really well technically in Bavaria it's considered a food so yeah I think I've said this in like three videos that I never liked beer but since coming to Germany I like beer now granted I'm not the biggest just a plain Helles or a Pilz or whatever I can't I mean I can drink a plain beer by itself but I like a Radler I like a Rus I like mixtures of beer so when I came to Germany I tried beer for the first time of course I was like oh this is disgusting but it was something that grew on me in the United States we have this idea that German people because they say we say that they don't like ice in their drinks and we assume that that means their drinks are warm or hot and that's not necessarily the case their drinks are always really really cold when you get them ice cold beer there's not any ice in it but it's really cold it's so refreshing in summer the next one is going to be glühwein i know that a lot of places have glühwein but i think that germany because i never knew about this you guys until i came here and then i drink it it's so amazing amazing it's like mold 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 i have any issues it's just warm wine you guys basically and it's really sweet, it's really delicious, it's really amazing. I just never thought that I would like a hot wine. And I never thought that I would be like drinking beer or wine, but here I am in Germany still an alcoholic, you guys. The next food you guys are going to be Obatsta. This is a Bavarian thing. Obatsta is like a cheese spread type thing. When you look at it, it's orange, it looks disgusting, it has chunks. Some, depending on who makes it it has like chunks in it sometimes it has like weird orange or red like spices in it and it just doesn't look appealing or appeasing to the eye I mean for me it just doesn't look appealing or appeasing to the eye and I didn't know what it was so I never ate it you guys I seriously I think I lived in Munich or in Germany for a very long time before I tried Obat stuff people were eating it all the time I'm like how can you guys eat that stuff I don't know what I thought it was I thought it was like a sour cream or something and I'm looking at them and I'm like how can you eat that that's so disgusting they'd be like do you not like cheese so it's basically just a cheese spread and had I not been had I just tried it instead of judging it judging a book by its cover I would have liked it and I would have enjoyed Obatza so much longer in my German experience lifetime you guys <laughs> the next food is going to be Kraut sauerkraut this is I think very German I think everyone when they think or they associate a food with Germany sauerkraut is the n number one thing. I'm not the biggest sauerkraut fan, but sometimes you guys, depending on who makes it and what they put inside of it, I could eat it like by the pound, by the kilo, but only depending on who makes it. I'm very picky in that regard. And I don't eat it all the time and I can't eat it all the time because it's just, ooh. I do eat it sometimes and I crave it sometimes. So that has to tell you something. Now I'm not gonna crave it every day. Maybe once a couple months I'll eat sauerkraut. The sauerkraut that we have in the United States is really disgusting. I guess the only thing that we could compare it to would sort of be like a coleslaw and that's really disgusting, you guys. It's, uh, no, it's. What? The next point is going to be potato salad, you guys. I live in Bavaria, you guys, so I like Bavarian foods. I like 
Bavarian renditions of food. I like just, I that's where I live, that's like the majority of where my food palette comes from. So I'm used to the Bavarian potato salad, which means they don't use mayonnaise. And they use vinegar, and sometimes with cucumber, sometimes with onion, sometimes with bacon, it just depends who's making it. And with pickles and stuff, sometimes people do that. Now there are versions of potato salad that they use like a mayonnaise, not really mayonnaise, but like, I don't know if it's sour cream. It's like a version of mayonnaise, you guys, but it's not really mayonnaise, it's German mayonnaise. <laughs> so it's not really the same as American mayonnaise. So our potato salad in the United States is made with mayonnaise. It's really disgusting, really heavy. It looks nasty and I think I will go to a store one day while I'm here and just go <laughs> to show you guys like the what our American versions are of some foods so then you guys understand of why I wouldn't like it or why I never thought I would like it so I still enjoy the mayonnaise version in Germany only because it's a whole different recipe than in the United States. I think that when I came to Germany I just assumed that it was going to taste the same as in the United States so I just wrote it off and said I don't want to eat it because I don't like it and then I ate it and I realized that it was awesome so Aww. The next food you guys is going to be curry Wurst. Okay I think I said in my last video as well that I didn't eat sausage or I didn't like sausage and then now I eat sausage. I'm not a big ketchup fan. I wasn't a big sausage fan and I didn't know what the heck curry powder was. I saw the idea of like a sausage which I was eh about with curry ketchup that I was like double eh about and curry powder curry 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 power <laughs> curry powder on top I was just not having it you guys I just was not so then one day I got drunk at like 4 o'clock in the morning we were walking and there was like a bude open a do not bude and now granted these are not the best places to get curry rush but it was open at 4 o'clock in the morning I went to my little bude and I was like hey you guys and he's like well you need to eat something and he's like but all we have are curry rush and you know I was just like whatever feed me and I ate it and it was amazing and I was like, oh my goodness, what is this? So I haven't been eating this this whole time. And now, because I'm drunk and I have no self-awareness, <laughs> I eat it. I'm like, why, God, do you do these things to me? Y'all, it's amazing. And I like it really, really spicy. Like, I'll tell them, sharp, extra sharp. And they're like, okay, crazy woman. The next food is going to be Leberkass. Leberkass. I want to say is basically like a hot dog and flat form. It's all the other meat I want to say or the other stuff that you don't eat forms into like a a loaf <laughs> and then you can cut it you can use it for stuff. I don't know maybe I'll insert a picture so you guys have an idea because me trying to explain it it doesn't really make sense but it sort of tastes like to me a hot dog. When I saw it because someone said it was Leberkast I assumed that it was a liver cheese and that just doesn't sound delicious to me you guys. I just I thought it was like we're eating some kind of lime from the liver and that was it but it's just like a mixture of all the stuff into a loaf. It actually tastes really, really good with Susan Simpf. I don't eat it all the time, you guys, and I don't eat it around Mike because he like, he'll say, oh, you like it, don't you? Because I always tell him I don't like it, but <laughs> little does he know. <laughs> the next food is going to be sauerbraten. Oh, there's a naked old man. Not naked, but without a shirt and his stomach is hanging out of his shorts and he's walking, getting his tan on. Get it, sir. Sauerbraten means a sour roast. A braten means a roast, I want to say in German. And it's like a pickled, sour, marinated roast that they marinate for I don't know how many days. I think I didn't eat it, or I think I didn't want to try it because it said sour. And I was just assuming that it was going to be sour meat. Hefty foods, which are like brown sauces. And then you have your sour foods, which are like clearish type food but I, I feel like there's always a distinct taste for a distinct food and a distinct color so when I saw a sour broth and for the first time it was like a brownish sauce and I'm just like I don't trust this if it says it's sour and it has a brown sauce because usually brown sauces are supposed to not be sour so I just didn't eat it because that was what was going through my mind you guys and I was like um no I'm not gonna eat that sour brown looking piece of meat so then I accidentally ate it one time actually the lady messed up and gave me a sour broth and she didn't tell me she gave me a sour brat instead of whatever she gave me. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know that there was a difference. And so then I ate it and then she came back when I had like when I ate a little bit of it and I was like, oh, this is so amazing. Oh my gosh, such good food. And she came back and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I messed up, but I gave you sour brat instead. Stopped, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, 
Okay, the next food is going to be a brietze. We have, in the United States, you guys have to understand that we have an Auntie Anne's brietze. And if you don't know what that is, they're like these really doughy, soft, no consistency of a pretzel. We also have like the ones that you guys, that German people have, but they just don't taste the same. And I really didn't like the pretzels that Auntie Anne's have once in a while. I do enjoy them with like nacho cheese sauce. I'm not gonna lie, it really tastes good sometimes. But it's not something I could eat every day or once a month or twice a month or two months. I just, I, it's like a guilty pleasure that you enjoy every four months or something. That was me with Auntie Anne's. For Germany, the pretzels are just the soft baked pretzels and they're hard and brown on the outside and very, very soft, fluffy on the inside with salt sprinkled on them. And there's no fried dip soaked in butter it's just like this beautiful I don't even know this gebak stuck <laughs> this this baked got goodness I didn't eat them because I thought they were gonna taste like Auntie Anne's I know that they don't look anything like them but I just assumed and I was like I don't really want to and I realized that everybody was eating pretzels all the time and I'm like okay well they can't be that bad for you if everyone's eating them they can't be like Auntie Anne's and then I ate it and it was amazing and I'm just like why do I do this to myself <sighs> the next and last, final food, you guys, guys, is going to be a Bienenstich. I, I guess it's like a bee sting. If I'm wrong, German people can correct me. And I don't know exactly what this is. It's like a cake. It's like a layered cake with some sort of filling in the middle. And I want to say it's not like a cream, but it's like a fluffy like icing but it's not icing i don't know what the what it's called in german and then it has another layer of the cake and then on the top it has like caramelized almond slash I, I don't know like a glaze on them when i first got to germany you guys have to understand that if you're coming from the united states sugar is our life we are used to our cookies being overly sweet our bread our, our bread our drinks everything is overly sugared there's too much sugar in everything so when i came here and i got a cake for the first time it was a bean and stich and it tasted really healthy to me and it tasted seriously so healthy and i was like this is not and this was like the sweetest thing i asked lady what's the sweetest thing you have and she told me this and then she gave it to me and i ate and i was like Bleh. because my taste buds were like going ah this is supposed to be sweet but it's just not sweet i wasn't freaking out but my body was confused i don't know like a year later i was eating cakes i got i got used to the less amount of sugar that there is or in germany so then when I ordered a cake again or I got another cake at the bakery, I decided to try the Bean and Stich again because I just wanted to give it another shot, you guys. You never know. Sometimes I, I was really not in a clear state of mind coming from the United States, my taste buds being whacked out. So then I tried it again and it was amazing because my taste buds were like calmed down. They were normal. They were Germanized and then this was a dessert for me and it was a d delicious dessert. That's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i promise you guys there will be some fun videos coming up with in regards to foods and whatnot so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i hope it's as warm in germany as it is in florida i know it's not but still i'm trying to send you guys happiness and sunshine so you guys have a wonderful day and bye bye